good morning or whatever time it is wherever you're watching this and you may be watching it today or 10 years from now who knows who knows but my name is Suzanne Cleaver I am a sales director with Mary Kay I've been building my business with this incredible company for many many years and I just want to thank you for your time thanks for watching and I appreciate you whether you're watching as one of my clients or guests or a consultant in my unit or area or whoever you are. Thanks for coming on. I appreciate your time. I was reflecting on this year. This is the end of 2020. And as we know, it's been an interesting year, but I was looking for some of the good things that have come out and some of the things that I'm appreciative for. And of course my Mary Kay business came up. So I'm going to talk to you about five things I love about my business right now. Of course they do change. Some of them are the same as they've been maybe 10 years ago, but I have a new appreciation after this year. So I hope that you can reflect on the year and find some good out of it. I know that it has been crazy. We're looking forward to 2021, but it is good to go back and just be, be grateful for some of the great things that have come out of it. So here we go. Number one, Mary Kay Ash. Mary Kay Ash, the woman started this business in 1963. So it's been around for a long time. She started it with the philosophies of putting God first, family second, career third, and the golden rule. And of course, people told her it wouldn't work. It, it won't work, Mary Kay, but it did. And the reason why she started it was back then, of course, it was difficult for women to make executive level incomes. But Mary Kay knew that that was needed for many, many women. And of course, we have men in our in our company as well, but she was really focused on women, especially at that point in time. She was a single mom for a lot of her life and had to raise her children and of course provide for them. So she wanted a premier opportunity for women to be able to do that and put their priorities in order and have some flexibility in their life as well. And she was really retired when she did this. I love it that she was, she was pretty much retired. She put in her life savings. She did not do it to make money. She did it so that women would have an opportunity. And man, from a $5,000 investment it is now a multi-billion dollar company. She started in Dallas, Texas. It's in almost 40 markets worldwide. So that's pretty incredible. So I really appreciate her, fors her foresight, her thoughts about um, what a great business would look like for, for women and what an opportunity would look like and the founding principles that she, that she based it on. Number two, I am so grateful for our company and how we have adapted in this situation. As we know, 2020 with uh, COVID-19, the world has just been kind of turned upside down. We've had to go, go virtual. We've had to do so many different things, but our company has adapted. We've adapted, they've put new bonuses in place. We are still out there working, which is amazing. When all of this hit, they had really watched China and we were worried that our manufacturing plant and world headquarters is in Dallas, Texas. Dallas was shutting down in, in March as most of the com uh, country was. And we were a little bit concerned that we weren't gonna have our opportunity or be able to manufacture products. But Mary Kay had the foresight to uh, change a little bit of their manufacturing, be able to procure in ingredients for hand sanitizers. So we were considered considered an essential business. Even with our distribution centers, some of them had closed down or been shut down because of COVID in, in a couple other states. Everything diverted to Dallas and we were able to service our customers and have jobs. And Mary Kay created thousands of hand sanitizers and donated all of them to first responders and hospital systems. So that's pretty amazing. And then just some of the adaptations that we've had, it's all been focused on building our businesses and keeping people working. And I think that is truly, truly amazing that they were able to do that. So I do thank them for that. I'm very grateful that they watch out for us, the consultants and directors in this business, the sales force. So that is, oh, thank you. Thank you for that, Mary Kay. Number three, the company culture, the innovation, the the green um, green status. So our, we have a multi million dollar manufacturing plant in Dallas, Texas, as I mentioned, and it is um, LEED certified, which means that it's so environmentally friendly. A lot of our packaging um, and products 
very, very green and recyclable. So we've worked with Arbor Day Foundation. There are so many great things that we've done that way. Our philanthropies are to eradicate domestic violence and cancers in women. Mary Kay has donated millions of dollars for grants and research for those causes and to uh, shelters for women and children. So a company with a heart that gives back, that's innovative, love that. Okay, number four, our compensation. I'm so grateful for multiple streams of income. Mary Kay is based on what's called dual marketing. It's a, it's a little bit different than multi-level marketing. So basically it's, we purchase our products as consultants. We purchase them from Mary Kay and we sell them to our customers. We make 50% of everything that we sell. So we can offer some really great deals to our clients, which is great. If you're one of mine, you love it because we do offer awesome hostess bonuses and all, all those kind of things. So we have that avenue of income, which is the sales. We also have team building incomes that are paid out by Mary Kay. We have bonuses like a car program. I've been driving basically free for since um, a year out of year that I've been into Mary Kay, a year after I started, I should say. So you can either choose the car or the cash compensation and I've done both and um, uh, thousands and thousands of consultants and directors have done that. So that helps the bottom line and that's definitely an avenue of income. There are prizes, um, great luxurious prizes that we earn, practical prizes that we earn. So that's another stream of income. There are bonuses, all kinds of things. And Mary Kay keeps paying us more. We are considered one of the highest paid direct selling companies in the US as far as consultants and in leadership um, with our directors. And um, so that is very, very exciting to, to learn that information. When we learned that we were number one in those categories a few years ago, that was pretty exciting. So I love that piece of it. And I can go into more of that in detail if you have any questions about that. Okay, number five, opportunities for growth and leadership. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate that. I've got my um, master's degree in speech language pathology. I um, learned a lot of technical skills in that area. It's a, it's a, you know, has been a, a great opportunity as well. However, I did not learn a lot of leadership skills, coaching skills, training. And I think that's the case with a lot of college or schooling, they just don't have time in their curriculum to do a lot of that. I know that that is a actual separate um, career choice that you can make now as a leadership training. And I think that's that's wonderful. And But I, I just wanna say that I've gotten so much of that out of my Mary Kay business. I'm so grateful for that. Cause as a lifelong learner, it's, an, it's incredible to keep learning and um, I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed the head and heart training that I've received in this business. It gets you closer to um, people in your group. It creates those relationships and it helps and it trickles down into every other aspect, whether it's in um, another career. So when I started, I was a manager for a big rehab company and my Mary Kay leadership training really helped me with the employees that I was working with. Absolutely, with the patients I was working with. So it also helps you in your family relationships and then it, it trickles to children, to spouses, nieces and nephews, parents, siblings, all of that. And it's been such an invaluable resource because when things change in our world, like they have this year, there are some things that can remain the same. So if we know how to handle them, then we can be that constant. And Mary Kay has been that constant throughout all of this. So I really do appreciate those five things. There could be many, many more, but I know we're getting close to the 10 minute mark. And so I just wanted to make sure that I let you know those five things. So if you have any questions, please ask me or your consultant. We'd love to answer them for you. Or if you'd like a deeper conversation about any of this, absolutely. Maybe you're interested in the products. That is awesome as well, because we do have a lot of those fun things to show you too. So happy new year, wherever you are, maybe it's 2025. I'm wishing you a happy new year, but we know that we are going into 2021 with hope and with joy and with gratitude for the things that we've learned from 2020. So let's just all make it a great day and a beautiful, beautiful year.
Have a great one. Bye.